Hey, it's Mick from thesvodcommedia.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the Galati XT 37 inch rifle case. It has an MSRP at $89.95 and you can find it online for about $57 and $90. The construction is 1000D Cordura Nylon. It has a reinforced 3 inch backbone with a double stitched handle stitched together. Adjustable strap for shoulder carrying. It is water resistant, fire retardant, and it will fit a scope. On the inside, it's got a one inch zipper protector pad to make sure that your rifle and your zipper do not come in contact. It also has an inch and an eighth thick closed cell foam pad on both sides. You have a general purpose utility pouch here, which can expand to be about an inch deep. And then you have four oversized mag pouches. These will fit two 30 round magazines. It'll fit one 40 round magazine for your AR. And you can also get 30 round AK mags in here. So kind of what we were thinking about this. On the shoulder strap here, we liked that all the hardware was made out of metal. So it's not, no plastic or anything like that on there. And then we liked that the shoulder pad can easily Velcro off. So if you're not using it. The one thing about the pad that we didn't like though is there's no grip on here. This is just straight up nylon so it might slide around on you a little bit. <clears throat> the big thing with this that we had a problem with is that the bag actually opens at the bottom. So if your zipper were to break or you were to come open and get caught on something, the next thing you know the gun's laying on the ground. The other big problem with that is there is absolutely no retention system in here for a rifle whatsoever. They're basically banking on the foam holding it steady. We put an M4LE in here earlier and without the stock all the way extended it basically slid back and forth in there and you can actually feel it shifting back and forth. So that's one of the biggest problems with this. The other thing we didn't really like was that this doesn't actually open all the way because of the reinforced nose piece that it has on it. Um, a couple things that we did like though, the oversized pouches are great for the different style of magazines. It kind of adds a level of versatility to what kind of rifle you want to be carrying in here. Um, it also gives you an option that you don't have to use them for mag pouches. You can get cleaning rods and things like that in here pretty easily. Now the one thing uh, with the size, it is 37 inches and you can get a 37 inch weapon in here. But when you start getting to the max size for this bag, you're actually going to have to take your sights off or flip them down because of the curve on this end. The weapon's going to be riding in there crooked. So that's going to be part of a problem when you start getting into a longer weapon system. But with the shorter ones, you also get the slide effect where everything is rattling around in there and that's not really what you want either. Uh, one of the good things that we thought about the padding was that there is, I mean, that inch and an eighth foam pad on each side is almost excessive. I mean, this is definitely a very tough bag, and it has a lot of padding to protect it in there. That, and with the three-inch rib on the back here, it'll actually hold its shape fairly well. The manufacturer claims that this bag will float in the water with a rifle in it. Uh, we didn't get a chance to test that out, but uh, they say it'll work, and with all the padding, it actually is. It does seem kind of feasible. All right, so overall, with the ratings on this one, for the weight, we gave it a B. It, Slightly better than average for these. Um, durability, we gave it a B. Lots of heavy duty fabric, double stitching, the whole nine yards there. And for the usability, we had to knock this one down to a C, mainly because of the opening on the bottom. And if it were something were to go wrong with your zipper, you would basically have to hold this thing like a baby and cradle it under your arm uh, because it doesn't even have the double straps on that side that you could close it up and hold it that way. So this is Mick from the As always, we welcome your questions and comments, and thanks for watching.